Hi there, this is Miss Camp here for the Green Reading Group on Monday, April 20th. So this is going to be just like our small group reading. Um, I'm going to read to you and then there's some questions for you to answer in your Google Doc. Um, we're starting a new book, which is exciting. This is called My Name is Maria Isabel by Alma Florada. Um, and the illustrations in the story are by K. Dibel Thompson. So I will read this, or you have a choice to look at the pictures attached and read it for yourself, and then answer a few questions. This is a story about a young girl who's starting a new school. Um, I think we've all had that experience. It can be kind of nerve-wracking starting a new school, not knowing what it's going to be like. So let's find out how she does. I'm going to start on chapter one, on the way to school. Maria Isabel looked in the cup of coffee with milk and the buttered toast in front of her, but she couldn't bring herself to eat. Her mother said, Maribel, carino, hurry up. I looked it up, carino means honey in Spanish. Her father added, you don't want to be late on your first day, do you? But instead of finishing her breakfast, Maria Isabel just kept staring at the butter as it slowly melted onto the toast and the cloud of steam that floated over her cup. You'll see, you'll like your new school, her mother said. But her mother's soft, reassuring voice didn't seem to convince Maria Isabel. Maria Isabel knew it wasn't going to be, like, easy starting a new school, especially when the school year had already begun. She was probably the only new student. She kept thinking what bad luck it was that they had to move two months after school had started. She had had so many plans to spend her winter vacation playing with Clara and Virginia. You'll make new friends soon, said Maria Isabel's father, as if he could read her thoughts. Maria Isabel kept staring at the cup, but when her brother Antonio chimed in, Come on, Belita, hurry up. You're going to make me late. She gulped down her coffee, even though it burned her tongue. Maria Isabel shook her head, trying to shake the nervous thoughts from her head. She got up and grabbed her blue backpack. Maria Isabel had always wanted a backpack, and at the store last Sunday, this seemed to be just the right, right one. She'd been so happy when her mother decided to buy it, even though it was more expensive than the red one. Later that day, when Maria Isabel was alone in the apartment, she had walked back and forth with the pack on her shoulders and had even climbed up onto the toilet seat to see how she looked in the bathroom mirror. But now it just seemed heavy, and Maria Isabel couldn't understand why she had liked it so much. Goodbye, Mimi, Maria Isabel said softly to her mother, who was already washing the glasses and cups from breakfast. See you later, my love. May God be with you. Her mother answered back, giving Maria Isabel a kiss on the forehead. Then she dunked her hands back into the soapy water. Goodbye, honey, her father said. Be good at school and listen to your teacher. You know that your teacher at school is like your mother here at home. Yes, Poppy, goodbye, said Maria Isabel. And she got upon her tiptoes to hug her father. Then she took from the table the lunch bag her mother had prepared. Maria Isabel would have loved to stay in their warm kitchen with its smell of freshly brewed coffee. If only she could sit there all morning hugging her father, who always made her feel safe and secure. But a sudden blast of cold air told her that Antonio was waiting for her at the door. By the time Antonio and Maria Isabel got to the front door of their apartment building, the yellow school bus was almost at the bus stop. Come on, Belly, to run! Antonio called out. Maria Isabel started to run. Her new boots, a present for her ninth birthday, made the dry leaves on the sidewalk crunch beneath her feet. In her rush to keep up with her brother, Maria Isabel did not see a section of sidewalk that was jutting up because of a tree root. Before she knew what happened, she had tripped and fallen. The first thing she heard was laughter. She didn't even realize that Antonio was talking to her. Are you all right? He asked her as he helped Maria Isabel off the ground. Maria Isabel didn't answer him. She just bent down to pick up her smushed up lunch bag. Her knee hurt a lot, but Maria Isabel was determined to walk to the bus without stopping to look at it. What she couldn't help but notice was that the dress her mother had womp, 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 washed and ironed so carefully the night before, and now it was streaked with dirt. It was her favorite yellow dress, the dress Aunt Audrea had made specially for her. Maria Isabel's grandmother had given her the fabric as a gift the last time they had gone to Puerto Rico to visit. Maria Isabel only wore the dress for special occasions. She decided to wear it today for good luck on her first day of school. She had hoped the dress would help her feel a little less out of place with these new kids. The same new kids who are now laughing and chatting away 
on the bus while all Maria Isabel could do was look down at her bloody knee. Man, rough stop to her first day. Come back on Wednesday and we'll see how her first day goes. Bye.